Малашенко и сегодня мы поиграем в NBA 2K15. Постараемся без комментариев, просто баскетбол. So for Dallas, their last game a win against the Utah Jazz. Yeah, that was a strange game. Very shaky defensive performance by their opponent, but hey, they took advantage of it. Yeah, I'd go along with that. I mean, the game wasn't handed to them, but they definitely didn't have to work as hard as they should have. Now, a look at Dallas's starting lineup. The forwards are Parsons and Durkin. Ellis is out there with J.J. Barea, and it's Jan well, Parsons was really a surprise coming out of Florida. Had a big impact his rookie season with Houston. Very reliable in a lot of areas. Can handle the ball, can knock down a, a long-range shot, and a better defender than you think as well. That is what makes Parsons such an easy guy to send down on the floor. You know exactly what he's going to give you on offense and is very consistent. Back and down is Green. Shot clock at two. Let's it go from 14. Play. And Westbrook, here we go. Shoots a fader. And Green with the lay-in. Boy, where was the box out? Yeah, those kind of mistakes. He's got seven. And Parson, he's 6'10", maybe 6'9". 6'10 might be a stretch, but he's a good athlete, has a tight handle. I think the more open style of play in the NBA suits his strengths as a player who likes to attack. Outside Westbrook, Durant for three. Green again, feeds to Green. Ibaka sets the pick for Green. Back to Durant. Great use of the pick to create room for respect. Yeah, maybe they don't love playing in the game because of the hoopla of the entire weekend. So I thought it was refreshing that he basically came out and said he wants to. Everything's worked, especially offensively, and what a lead they have already to show for. One thing you know when it comes Now here's Durant. A 14-point game for him in the win against Memphis. Yeah, he did some nice work on the boards too, Kevin. Was... He dishes it to Green. That's good, and a nice assist from Durant. And they've set up countless. Here's Green. A 20-point game for him in the win against Memphis. And he really competed defensively, too. Kevin, three steals. They get it back. Tries again. Under trailing by eight. Green passes to West. Pass to Green. Definitely has caught my eye. Ibaka with a screen on Jefferson. He is not helping their offense. He ended with 20 points and added seven rebounds to go with his scoring. Another strong showing from him in what has become a half. And thank you, Doris. An easy two points on the way. That dishes to Parsons. Off the first half. Now, here's Green. Jones with the screen on Jefferson. And so that brings the first half to a close. And now, brought to you by Sprint. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. An explosive uh, offensive display there. At the end of the day, I wouldn't be surprised if we're talking about what a great second half. Ball's knocked loose. Fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. What a night so far for Green. He's got 10 rebounds and a dozen assists. He's shown some flash with his passing and some grit with his board work. Well, that's not a combination too many players are capable of either, guys. No good on the free throw. You look at the Thunder, they're really the epitome of patience, the build through the draft model, constructing a contender with consistency and, a, and a, just a solid approach every day. That's why they are year in and year out so tough to handle. Dirk Nowitzki, he's checked in for Chandler Parsons. And now to go to a rookie watch and find out who among the NBA's 